Yeah, well, my name is uh, Jim Woolley. I'm a solution architect with Solomon Consulting, and I've been uh, coding professionally since the mid '90s or so. My first uh, degree was actually in music, so okay. I started out with music education, and uh, then went to music theory in the college level. And decided didn't, didn't like the publisher parish mentality of that, so I went to my second love was was growing up, which was computers, and uh, found that. When everything working with computers is essentially uh, solving puzzles. And there's always new puzzles to solve, new ways to solve them. And that's one of the great things about being in technology is that you're always finding new ways of reinventing yourself and learning new ways of doing things. So um, you know, once you get your, your degree or you find out you know, everything that you think that you need to know about a technology, remember that you always have to keep on learning. And that's the great it's a, the excitement and the challenging part of it at the same time. Uh, so you have to be a lifelong learner and really understand what's going on in order to really thrive in this industry. For you, what is like one of the most important qualities you found in the developers you admire? Looking outside the box. So trying to find new and unique ways of trying to solve problems and trying to think beyond just what the customer is asking for to figure out what it is that they really want. And that's when you get uh, really interesting solutions to problems. You know, just doing exactly what the customer wants sometimes doesn't solve really what they need. And trying to understand the underlying issue and, and the question and figuring out a good alternative solution for that often is one of the most rewarding things. Is there any like dream project you're still waiting to get involved in, be part of? Man, mission to Mars? Mm. Oh, it's, you know, it's really so hard to say. For me, sometimes it's just the smallest things. You know, when you're programming, very often you have that, you, you bump the head against the wall. And you know, I got the bumps and bruises up here to show it. <laughs> literally. Uh, literally. But it's when you get that aha moment, that light bulb moment of, ah, that's how, how it works. That's what makes it all rewarding. Uh, you know, I can't say any one project that's the thing, that's the one I really, really want to work on type of thing. But uh, yeah, it's, sometimes it's the small things that are what you have to take the real uh, joy in. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thanks for having me.